I think I'm gonna know CB Sweet in here. <laughs> ah, feels good to be home. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the releasable challenge, the challenge where player we you for that doesn't exist in 1444. And after spinning the wheel last time, this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the nation of Wales. Wales is a nation that can be popped out of England, and I'm actually pretty excited to play them since England did get updated in domination. Obviously, as Wales, we're gonna get released from these four provinces over here. A pretty difficult start since these are pretty low def provinces, and if we can't get Burgundy and Denmark to support us with their massive navies and their subjects as navies, it'll be pretty difficult for us to break free from England. So yeah, let's jump in as England, release and play as Wales, and see if we can defeat England, become a great power with colonialism embraced, with someone with colonialism below us, and make England not exist. Is it gonna be tougher now that we're in domination? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. Let's jump in as England and then as Wales. Alright, alright, here we are as England and as you all know, November 11th, 1444, we're just gonna do uh, this right here. Boom, there we go, we are Wales right now and England is rival to Denmark and Burgundy and Scotland and France, dude. If we can get like all four or at least three out of those four guys, we should be able to break free pretty easily. But either way, does Wales have unique ideas? We do, plus 10% morale of armies and plus one attrition for enemies, really good, plus 25% land force limit as a finisher, I like it so far. Minus 20% stab discount, prestige, unrest, legitimacy, production efficiency, idea discount, tolerance of the true faith and missionary strength. Welsh idea is pretty good, man. Uh, no unique missions. So yeah, let's get started by choosing uh, autocracy and letting a month take by. All right, there we go, a month has take by. Now we can go ahead and do some estate stuff. So let's go ahead and summon the diet right here. Let's give the clergy religious state and uh, religious diplomats just like that. Let's give the nobles primacy and increased. And uh, let's give the burghers land patronage and uh, indebted. That's it for now. Sell seize. We can take a mission. High income. I always waste this. I know. Uh, let's get a diplomat guy, which we do have. That's awesome. 144. Not that good right at the start. All right. Still the same rivals. Oh, Castile have rivaled them as well. That's excellent. So they won't ally them. Uh, yeah. Free merchant. Uh, let's put one in Champagne. That's going to collect, but actually improve relations with uh, Burgundy and France. And the other guy can go here for now. He's also going to establish communities. Uh, force limit is four as expected. Let's go ahead and turn off the forts for now. And um, yeah, let's start building up our army and waiting for uh, five years. Uh, hopefully the main war doesn't happen. Let's see though. And yeah, man, we can definitely get France, Burgundy, and Denmark to support us. Not sure about Scotland because, ah, uh, because they want my land probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah, before starting this video, man, I had to go back and watch my Cornwall video that we did uh, to figure out how to break free from England. And obviously the answer is uh, Burgundy and Denmark's help. Because if we get Burgundy, we get their boats, but also Flanders and uh, Brabant and uh, Holland's boats. And if we get Denmark, we also gain Sweden and Norway. So instead of like two guys supporting us, it's actually like uh, seven. It didn't happen. That's great. Oh, but wait. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Now France has a truce with England until 51. We might have to wait until 51. And sorry if I'm a bit quieter today or something like that. I feel a sore throat coming on, so uh, I'm trying not to be as loud. We've uh, built the force limit. I should actually probably get some transports up so I can move this army out right? All right, so truce with uh, Ingerland is up, and I have gotten Burgundy and Denmark to support me, which is great. I think I can do it with just these guys, but I'm gonna wait for France's truce with England to run out so I can get them to support me as well, and uh, after that, we'll hit them. So uh, yeah, let's chill for like, um, what's it, a year? Let's pop a scornful over to England, and uh, there's England's uh, truce with France. All right, man, so I think we're good to go ahead and declare. I'm just gonna move my troops over to Brittany first. I know they're gonna get black flag and stuff like that, or actually they won't if I declare I'm if I'm still in the channel. Let's see. Okay, so troops are moving off right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and declare in England. Man, they're a leash, blah, 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 lots of it. And I'm landing in Brittany, but they've allied each other. <laughs> let's see how this works out. Uh, already positioned in their land, but they're not in their land, or maybe they're in Cotentin. Let's move them over here, actually. Let's see. All right, well, let's try and do it now. Yeah, there we go, independence. All right, we just got I hope these guys move their troops over to the island or else we can't do this i am gonna get sieged down here i know but eh. hey my troops lift because uh france pulled their boats in as well nice all right uh let's get a let's give a ruler milk command let's go siege something we can take this too yeah this is expected well my allies are doing a good job with the boats we've got uh, like uh, naval dominance here and i'm actually not gonna make england break any alliances because if i make them uh not be allied to these guys they could get someone stronger maybe like austria so uh 
Yeah. And a good thing here is uh, France, uh, or no, actually, I was about to say these guys don't want any English land, but only Denmark doesn't. France wants stuff over here and uh, Burgundy wants stuff over here too. All right, we'll see about the peace deal later. Let's uh, let's try and, you know, peace everyone else out. Just knocked out Brittany. All right, knocked out Brittany and Portugal. Now we just got to land somehow. Okay, France landed in Orkney. Let's see. All right, we do have a 15k French stack up there. The English aren't going to engage because uh, France is more powerful at this point due to the morale and the starting generals. Uh, Yeah, Denmark isn't doing anything. Sweden is rebellious. They're not helping. I don't know. Burgundy could land too, man. Maybe I should give them an objective as well. Let's tell Burgundy to occupy that. I don't know if this will work. Just as uh, these guys are preparing to fight here, let's take... Uh, and boy, strength and noble privileges isn't that good either, man. I guess it's good if you start off with a 100 crownlin, but uh, yeah, it's been nerfed and nerfed and nerfed so much but i'm still gonna go with it right so france actually got this fort right here england never engaged it just went uh, back and forth like the ai sometimes does now everyone's landed i would take my troops as well but i don't have boats so what i'm gonna do is delete this and as soon as i get unoccupied by burgundy here i'll just uh get the free company up and running war exhaustion is crazy since i'm full occupied but there we go everyone's landed man shout out to france uh oh <laughs> oh boy and uh, there we go. Pretty annoyingly, but easily, we have managed to beat England. It's just that this is a problem, but I do have enough Diplo points I've been stacking. So, uh, yeah, let's check out the peace deal, man. Obviously, we want independence, right? Then I want war reps, too. Now, like this, France is sad because they have a lot of stuff. Let's try and give them Bordeaux. All right. Uh, if I give them Bordeaux, I can take that. Oh, they're, they're still happy. They're still happy and no one else is mad. All right, so let's go ahead and take some stuff to release Northumberland from as well. Maybe we can do something like this. Or no, wait, that would be stupid. I actually want that. And I'll release them from here. And then Scotland, we can't uh, fight them. Their cores are on that area right there. So can I do this? This is actually a lot. Um, What else do I do? Do I take Oxford? No. All right, with anything else, France gets angry. So let's just take their money, even though France will get most of it. And that's our independence war done. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and release Northumberland. We'll reconquer their cores that are located here. And uh, yeah, let me reduce this, man. Probably all the way. I'm not actually going to stab up. Instead, I'm just going to core this. All right, but no one's mad. And we've kept a super powerful France, which actually chose to give up the lowlands to Austria, probably because they were in a war. I mean, not to Austria, to the HRD, probably because they were in a war already. I've kept Denmark too. These are pretty good allies, man. Oh, can't fight Scotland. All right, we got to curry favors with France, make them end their alliance with Scotland in the meantime. Could I push into Ireland? Probably could. Let's go ahead and spy on someone here. All right, the Renaissance has also spawned. What's our highest dev up? province let's see oh my god they're so poor all of them uh we might have to dev it like here that's our capital uh all right did a little devving here this is how far i've gotten let's take that mission as well yeah but yeah man there we go we're pretty close to knocking out england i'll probably feed all of this right here to france if i'm being honest and uh us getting uh the entirety of great britain and ireland is pretty probably gonna be enough to get on the great powers list with a bunch of dev and stuff like that so yeah probably no need to expand out of uh this region all right right now the manpower and the financial situation is good due to all the war reps and stuff like that i just gotta deal with the um, lack of points uh burgundy is getting supported by uh austria and aragon aragon is normal austria is normal too they don't have bohemia or hungary so we'll see how this works out for france both of my allies are getting their subjects supported england got the peasants war uh, I'm gonna link with Castile here. And at this point, I actually can go ahead and oh, uh, give cheaper advisors to there. That's right. Clerical advisory, or aristocratic and uh, commercial advisory. But what, but what I was saying is uh, we need to get indebted to the burgers and uh, start building some boats, man. I do want to invade Ireland. So, yeah, you got to get like some transports up as well. That's like six, right? There we go. That's 10. And let's get some galleys up too, as much as I can, pretty much. What's this? Who are they fighting? Um... Okay, sure, I'll accept. No way, these idiots. <laughs> uh, they would have been a great ally, a stronger ally, and also Aragon wouldn't support Burgundy anymore. I can't believe they chose a local noble. All right, the Renaissance is here. I'm actually going to take out some regular loans to embrace it, and we can probably sell it to someone. Uh, we can sell it to France. Perfect. And actually, man, now that I'm a Miltech over these Irish guys, or well, most of them, I am going to declare on Thaumann right here, who's allied to uh, Tyrone and Kildare. Uh, a worry here could be the boats, but I think we can still take them. Uh, they just walked over. Pain. All right, what's happening here? So, no ray broke free from anywhere? All right, this very annoying war is pretty much done. Can we do this? Of course we can. 
Nice. Again with the War Exhaustion Jesus, man. Finally, first idea group time. I think we should go with something milk here, man. Uh, quality for uh, boats and army too. We will have to deal with Scotland and England's navies, even though they're not that strong. Mine are pretty much already more powerful, but uh, yeah, I really don't see a downside to quality of this campaign. Should we focus up on milk here? Yeah. Oh, and also, let's get rid of these forts, man. We don't really need them in Ireland. These guys build up level 3 forts. All right, uh, now we can spy on other guys here, too. Does England have any relations with them? Sligo and Leinster. So I can spy on um, Riconnell, the right of Scotland, Clannercard. Yeah, let's spy on them. I also got to spy on Scotland here because I am going to fight them as soon as I make France break their alliance with them. I need 12 more favors. I think first we're going to fight England, and after that, we're going to do that. I do have to state some things up, though. No. Oh, why? Why, 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 why? France, Welsh rival Scotland, French rival Castile. The reasons are zero right now. Should I ditch Castile for... Ah, they rival each other. Yeah, I'm gonna ditch Castile, man. Yeah, there we go. I gotta keep this alliance with France, because otherwise uh, I can't fight Scotland. We gotta accept English here, too. All right, truce with England just expired, and they warned me immediately, which is honestly no big deal. But then again, they could come in to fight Scotland later when I fight them. But yeah, let's see what we can do here. France would still join, but what about their navy? Oof. They've built up again, 26 ships, 20. I got 20 as well. Why wouldn't Denmark join? They're in debt. I mean, shoot, man. If France lands, we can definitely beat them, but they're going to go for Portugal first. Let's look at the navies. All right, England have three heavies, zero galleys. France has three heavies, six galleys. I got 10 galleys. I think we could beat them. Uh, oh, I'm two mil ahead of them. Dude. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Let's get some regular loans right here. Oh, I'm so in debt, but that'll all get paid off uh, once I fight England. I'm also rooting out corruption a lot. Uh, what I was trying to say is let's go ahead and get like this many troops. Two cav maybe as well. I also need a general. Pretty good. Uh, let's put the navy here. for friendlies to attach. And we can definitely beat these guys, man. Two miltex over. All right. Uh, let's not go way over first limit. And let's lower autonomy somewhere. Yeah. Easy, man. Let's go ahead and declare on England. We should be able to beat them here pretty easily. Let's declare a reconquest for York. Call in France. Boom. There we go. Where's their army, baby? Where is it? I'm actually loaded on mil points. I'm going to do nothing i was about to say i just crushed their navy but i thought that was me and that was them oh oh ofi these guys can fight each other what the heck is going on here dude at this point it's time for a tier three cover form i'm gonna go with uh expand rule court yeah, as soon as I get London here, man, I'm going to go and beat them up. Uh, let's get the morale again. And do I have a morale advisor? I should have a lot more morale than England, right? Let's go ahead and see army quality comparison war enemies. Uh, let's delete that. Oh, yeah. Look at this, man. He out Portugal earlier and just popped off a humiliation on Brittany as well. That's pretty nice. Yeah, France isn't going to be able to land here. Let's get this. Uh, I am going to start my golden arrow, actually. There's even more morale. Okay, they were hiding out in Ireland, but they just came back. Ugh, always with the war exhaustion, bro. But there we go. There's calf combat as well. Let's try and chase them. Caught one stack. Bye-bye. <laughs> and there we go. Well, this isn't going to work out for you guys, is it? I know usually I skip through wars, but it's just so fun wiping these guys out. I can even go here. Yeah, it's pretty much a wrap here. Ah, I can't wipe piece uh, Sligo or whatever, but yeah, no big deal. Uh, what I'm going to do right here is give uh, my... Oh, wait, I need to transfer occupation. And this is a common debate. Let's see. So if I take York like this by clicking on a map, 1.1 AE 5 war score. If I go through here, 1.1 AE 7 war score. I guess it's better to click on the map than isn't it, boys? So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take Man 2 as well. And uh, I'm kind of bored of this existing. So I'm going to take that too. What else do we do? What else do we do? Do, let's just take all of this um war reps and can we do something like uh actually let's just give stuff over here to france yeah because i need this not existing as well there we go pretty good a bing chillin uh let's make uh france and their alliance with scotland pretty soon and then we'll fight them as well let's keep spying Right, so now I got separatists over here and no boats. I have started rebuilding boats, but uh, yeah, let's wait for like a year before we beat these guys up. Uh, one wall. Galley combat. Let's go with it. We never get this, so why not? And yeah, right now I just gotta build up a navy before I fight Scotland. Let's promote Irish too. All right, man. Uh, navies are pretty much done. I just need two more infantry regiments right here. Scotland's allied to Turconnell and Brittany and France, of course. But uh, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, make France break that alliance with Scotland. Boom, there we go. Uh, they're no longer allied, which means... Now we can go ahead and declare on Scotland. So yeah, let's just do a regular conquest, man, for Ulster. Uh, since I'm already right here, we'll knock out Turconnell, then cross. Navy should be enough, and I don't know what we're going to do with Brittany. 
But uh, yeah, there's that war. Uh, let's do this. Okay, sweet. Now these guys can't cross since I occupied Ulster. Let's go ahead and siege this down and then we'll move. Oh, France actually uh, inherited Burgundy. Not bad. I'm gonna knock these guys out. I think we're done here because I can't be bothered to uh, take my guys over to Brittany to piece them out. So uh, what do we do here? Uh, they're... I'm actually gonna let them keep their alliance with Brittany, I think. And then, of course, we do want this so we can move around. And uh, why not do something like this for now? And we'll take these three provinces later. Sure. I'm satisfied with that. All right. We got these guys here. We're all allied to each other. So, uh, yeah. Let me improve with uh, my boys Northumberland up to 190 so we can annex them. And then I'll hit these guys in Ireland. After that, it's England. After that, it's Scotland. Looking pretty good, man. I'm satisfied. There we go. Actually, it is already at 100. So let's give the nobles... Uh, where is it? The nobility integration policy and uh, annex these guys. Do I have a diplomatic guy? I do. There we go. It'll be quite quick, I think. Or maybe not. Ah, four years. Look at these guys' as alliances, man. Look. <laughs> I'll just fight some of the other guys, right? They don't all have strong allies, yeah. There's quality wrapped up. Second idea group time. I think I should go with something that's gonna make me some money because we're not that good in the money department, man. So trade or economic here, what would help us more? I think at this point, man, since we're not gonna own a whole lot of the English Channel. Yeah, economic for sure. Dangle Bay, seriously? <laughs> And uh, there's Northumberland annexed. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and state this up. Yorkshire. I'm going to delete this army right here. Ah, looking good, baby. Looking good. Dev is 272 right now. I'm already on the Great Powers list then, but of course we'll need a lot more. Yeah, we're going to be good. I don't think we're going to have to conquer outside of this region. Uh, perfect. Let's wait for truces. Ah, Sweden and Iceland. Wrong Sweden, by the way. Okay, so if I want to fight Moonster and I can't co-belligerent those guys, I can co-belligerent those guys, then these guys come in. But I won't be able to fight... Uh, let's do this. And then I'll declare on these guys separately. Right now it's time for tier 4 go reform time. We're not really doing too much with the Pope, so I'm just going to go with uh, maintain. Putting so much rebels right now. No! Oh, fine. I guess I'll join. I just won't be able to take as much as I want. Now fighting England again, not by my choice. All right, let's wrap this up in that case. Oh, uh, done? France gets everything. Uh, England gives one, two, three, four, five, six provinces to Wales. You know what? I'll I'll take that. I'll take that. Longer truce than it needs to be, but yeah, I'm, I'm not mad about that. Oh, we can become a kingdom. All right, but yeah, fighting a lot of rebels right now, man. Uh, unrest is pretty high. Let's core this up. Deal with the rebels. Manpower is low. Now, we got a sort of a problem popping up right here. England's province war score cost is uh, 115, right? Which means I can't take them down in one war. That's probably due to, you know, these provinces being like super expensive and stuff like that. But the main point here is uh, they got exploration and expansion. So let's hope they don't start colonizing. <laughs> this is who we're fighting right now, thanks to France. Austria is fighting another war too, the Brabantian Succession War. <laughs> All right. Either way, truce with Scotland is up, so let's go ahead and fight them immediately. And that's a wrap on Scotland. Bye-bye, Scotland. And let's take care of the final Irish nation as well. I guess colonialism did spawn, huh? Or no, it didn't. Oh, and that's a wrap on these guys too. Perfect. Well, let's go ahead and delete that fort. Truce with England is up. 15-12. I, I was thinking about truce breaking them, but I can't truce break them twice, right? So if we are going to truce break them, we got to fight them once after this truce expires. I still don't know why I'm dealing with so much rebels. Look at this. They haven't colonized anything yet. Province war score cost is still the same. There's colonialism. Uh, it spawned in Portugal. I can actually dev for this and get it right away. What's the cheapest province here to dev in? Lindo. Where's Lindo? Ah, oh, it's this one right here. Oh, I can also upgrade the center of trade right here, uh, I think. Yep, there we go. Let's also, uh, yeah, let's dev it up a bit here, man. Expand infrastructure. There we go. Made it even cheaper. And now we can push for colonialism. Uh, yeah, let's use these points. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. 116. So they either got a province or devved. Okay, truce with England is up. There's still a light to Portugal and now with Utrecht as well. Denmark and France would join, so why not call them in to make this easier? And I'll declare for London right here, actually. Let's see what we can do and let's find out if they have any other provinces elsewhere. All right, so they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces, right? One, two... Oh, no, this is showing me uh, Portugal stuff, too. All right, let's piece out Portugal and Utrecht. Okay, now Portugal and Utrecht are out. What did I say? Seven provinces? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's Cape Ray? Oh, no. I can take it. How can I take it, even though I can't see it? I wonder if I can do this? Yes, I can. And then I'll leave them alive in Oxford, and then they can't colonize because everything is too far away. All right, what's Cape Ray? 
Oh, it's a colony. I can just abandon it. Perfect. 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 This is 15 uh, England stole. Yep, that's it. They're only left in Oxford. Excellent. Uh, let's see what we can do. Maybe I'll truce break them. <laughs> Persia formed Ottomans still not attacking the Mamluks in this latest update. And no one knows why. Please, why don't they do it, dude? And before domination, the Ottomans would already have this by 1515, man. Weird. I don't know why they do that. But yeah, um... Everything else looking pretty normal. Big France. I think I'm going to take out some loans here to embrace colonialism. Interestingly enough, we don't have enough dev to get someone with colonialism below us. We have 48, 488. We sort of need to get above Poland here. Uh, this is 11. We're going to have to take something else, man. Maybe from Portugal. Maybe from Portugal. Of course, I if I choose Britain, Portugal wouldn't even come in. Yeah, let's wait. Actually, wait. Uh, Muscovy is fighting Sweden. Uh, I thought they were fighting Poland and Lithuania, man. I was hoping they'd take stuff from them. Unexpected, but I think I'm going to no CB Sweden here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I need the dev. That's the reason. There's economic wrapped up and there's weapon quality standards. I got an additional merchant as well. Uh, sure. Oh, I got Anglican. No. Right, I'm gonna annex Iceland too. Okay, ruler just died, but uh, yeah, let's do something with Sweden too. What can I take here? I don't want to give anything to Denmark as the thing. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Sweet. That's a lot more dev. Nice. I'm satisfied with that. Uh, they want a Valois on my throne? Sure. Oh, pretty good one too. Louis, of course. <laughs> and yeah, truce with England is gonna be up in about a year and a half. And after that, we'll fight them. We're already on the great powers list. Got colonialism. Poland and Hungary have colonialism. They're below us. We just gotta make these guys not exist. 21, 21. Yep. Okay. I'm not dealing with rebels right now because the truce with England is up. So let's go ahead and declare our final war versus our former overlord of England. There we go. Let's go ahead and declare a call in Denmark and France. Maybe they'll beat up some rebels and stuff like that pop up with portugal and utrecht of course and uh there's the final war give me oxford baby let's go educate ourselves there we go i'm not even back to uh, great britain yet and the war is already done let's go ahead and full annex england there we go full annexation they will no longer exist no colonies no nothing oxford is the only province that they have and with that our uh secondary or primary whichever one of our two goals is accomplished and our former overlord no longer exists and now that we've cored everything up, not that I actually needed to, I just wanted to after accomplishing our one of our goals to become a great power with colonialism embraced with someone with colonialism below us, we've also accomplished our other goal of making our former overlord, in this case England, not exist. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Wales in these four provinces right here. And I did think breaking free from England is going to be a bit tricky. And of course, it always is if you don't get people with lots of navies to support you. And just like the last time when we were trying to break free from England, when I played as Cornwall, we got France, we got Burgundy, we got Denmark to support us. With those nations, their vassals and their subjects also came Flanders, Brabant, Holland, Sweden, Norway, and uh, so many boats. England, of course, is eventually going to lose. Now, I did get a full occupied here, ran away, but then we came back, sieged them down. And after that, man, on Honestly, it was pretty smooth sailing, not too much pain, released Northumberland, reconquered their cores, made France break to alliance with Scotland, conquered them, pushed all throughout Ireland, and I didn't think I was going to have to expand outside of Great Britain and Ireland, but in the end, I did have to because, um, well, Poland here was pretty powerful, and we did need to get above them, even though it turned out to be useless because, uh, well, Hungary is still here, so we didn't even have to know CB Sweden. But a little bit of fun never hurt, no one did it. Well, except the Swedes. But yeah, like I said, a super straightforward campaign, man, making lots of money right now, a big income from trade production from taxation pretty good army right here decent navy as well these are the trade nodes you know that i'm controlling and stuff like that built some buildings not too many this campaign we were never too rich up until this point you know where we basically gobbled everything up but uh Honestly, man, I can say that I'm pretty satisfied. Wales, really good national ideas. I recommend you guys check them out. Uh, a fun way to expand over in the British Isles. You could, of course, form Great Britain after that. You could form Iceland as well. And uh, yeah, man, super fun, super straightforward campaign. And I'm uh, happy that we got to play in Great Britain. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Wales in releasables has been a success. And that has been Wales in releasables. Now let's spin the wheel and see which nation we're gonna play next time. I haven't forgotten about Patiala or the Ming vassals, don't worry. And here we are in the wheel of releasable nations. You guys know the drill by now. Click the spin and let's wait. Let's see where we're gonna end up with, man. We got lots of nations left pretty much all around the world. And next time we're back in France as Barry. Well, that isn't very nice, is it? Ha <laughs> ha.
So yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do as Barry next time to break free from France and become a great power. I'm uh, honestly happy that we're playing all of these uh, subjects of overlords that got updated in Domination, but uh, I think France is going to be the most painful one so far. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Redhawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a sore throat after this one. Yeah.